Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Royal Langnickel pencil set. I like that they came in this really cool, I want to say it's like a 10 case. It makes it easily portable, which is awesome for me because I like to take them to work with me sometimes and draw in my sketchbook or work on a portrait that I may be working on during that time. I'll bring it to work with me. I'm at work for 12 hours, so whenever I have any downtime, I like to practice drawing. So these come in handy because I can easily slip them into my purse and I don't have to worry about them getting lost at the bottom of my purse or anything like that because they're in this perfect little tray. And the tray has a slot for each pencil I don't have to worry about them rolling around inside the tray or anything like that. They pretty much stay secure. I got them from Michael several months back and I just got around to using them since I've been painting a whole lot, haven't been doing a whole lot of graphite drawings. But they were a pretty good price. They were only $4.99 I believe. And you get six pencils, three graphite pencils, an HB, a 2B, and a 4B. And then you get three charcoal pencils, a soft, medium, and hard. I do like that the set came with a variety of hardness grades on the pencils. Um, for it to be such a cheap set, you know, it, it came with a, a good wide range considering how it's only six pencils. And I like that it had charcoal and the graphite together because you can really get a nice range of tones with all these pencils combined together. If you're looking for a good starter kit to get you started with pencil drawings, then I feel like this Royal Langnickel pencil kit is a really good place to start off with considering how it's very economical and you get a nice range of different hardness of the pencils to help you practice with all your different tones. The downside to this set was that it didn't come with any type of sandpaper for the charcoal pencils. Um, the soft and, or not the soft, the hard and medium charcoal pencils, they were okay with me putting them into the pencil sharpener. Now, granted, I probably don't have the proper pencil sharpener for any type of graphite or charcoal. <laughs> The pencil sharpener that I've been using is just a regular old school pencil sharpener. I probably need to go get a professional pencil sharpener. But the set did not come with the sandpaper to, to sharpen the points with. And so the soft pencil right now at this point, it's like super small compared to all the other pencils because I've been having to put it through a regular pencil sharpener and the point keeps breaking if I sharpen it too much. And it's like I'm trying to get it a nice sharp point on it to do details but because I don't have the charcoal it's hard for me not the charcoal because I don't have the sandpaper it's hard for me to get the point on the soft charcoal pencil really sharp without breaking it overall I feel like the lead is pretty smooth in the graphite pencils and also the charcoal is pretty smooth too, especially that, well obviously the soft one's going to be smoother than the hard and medium ones. I feel like the lead is pretty smooth, there's not any like scratchy parts to it or anything when you're trying to, when you're trying to draw. I did notice that the hard charcoal pencil gave me a little shine and it could have just been that I was pressing too hard but I, I was you know, trying to be conscientious of not pressing down too hard because I wanted to do layers in this portrait. But it could have just been at a time where I wasn't paying attention, I had pressed down too hard and I got a wax buildup on it and I couldn't layer any further. So it's either 
operator error or I guess it could be the I don't think it's the paper though this uh, this portrait is being done on Bristol board paper 9 by 12 so I don't feel like it's the paper I think it's either the pencil or it might have just been me I also like how the soft charcoal can get pretty dark with layers um, I started off with the hard charcoal pencil and then just build it up from there and I felt like it got pretty dark. Um, a current portrait that I'm working on, uh, I'm working on another portrait with these pencils right now. And I decided to go in with just the charcoal pencil right off top. Well, not just the charcoal, with the soft charcoal pencil right off top. And it actually is darker to me. It probably didn't have as much depth. Um, but I like it though. I like how dark it gets when you just go straight in with the with the charcoal with the hard, uh, soft charcoal pencil. And here's the final portrait drawing. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I'm going to try to post more often, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I post my next video. Also, follow me on all my social media, and I look forward to hanging out with you guys again. See you next time. Bye.